When I got my first apartment, after moving out of the dorms in college, one of the first things I bought was a new TV. Maybe it's just the American in me, but I just love having a television. And here in Chicago, we just moved here to Chicago. Well, decided to get this one. Uh, took, took a risk on this brand, uh, TCL, The Creative Life. I saw it online on Amazon. Was kind of hesitant, you know, just because the price is so good. But saw it at Target, looked great in person, so we took a chance on it. And after spending over a month with this TV, I can officially say I highly recommend it. The display is beautiful. As a photographer, I have a very specific kind of like tonal range that I like. Uh, you know, the blacks need to be dark and contrasty compared to the rest of the image, the midtones and the highlights. And this TV just nails it. I love it. I think that it is such a great color and tone range, uh, especially for the price. A few other things I really like. I really like the remote and the remote app. It's just a nice, simple remote, not a lot of frills to it, not even any numbers on it. Just clean, simple remote. I love that. The remote app is also a great asset for whenever you don't feel like getting up off the couch to go get the remote off the TV stand or wherever the hell it might be. Um, it's also got some great features to it. Uh, private listening is my favorite. With this, any audio that comes from the TV normally will come through your headphones. This is great if you have a spouse, you don't want to disturb them while they're trying to sleep, whatever it might be, it's a great feature. I also love the settings. Uh, there's a little button on there, a little asterisk button on the remote, and this brings up some quick settings. Being able to adjust the backlight, for example, I really like that. I think it's a, it's a great feature for nighttime viewing if you don't want to have like the glaring backlight in your face right before bed it's a nice way to just quickly kind of dim that uh and give your give your give your eyes a little bit of a rest i also like how the home screen works the home screen revolves around these apps uh, as opposed to actually going through different input modes for different things the roku aspect of it i think is a great feature in and of itself and this is part of that so instead of channels you have apps uh, and these apps are for Netflix, for Hulu, for, you know, Spotify, another really great one, being able to, you know, project music from your phone to the TV. Even though the speakers aren't the greatest, uh, it's good enough for, for my needs, and it's just super easy and nice. I even like, as silly as it is, I even like that your input channels for your consoles, like my Switch, are their own separate app on the home screen, as opposed to, you know, some sort of channel that you have to guess what it is. On the home screen, you can just see right there in plain English, it's the Switch. I think a lot of people are gonna like this, especially who have families and maybe spouses who aren't as familiar with uh, how to use the whole input scheme of normal televisions. That being said, there are a couple cons. Uh, one, I do like the remote overall, but I wish that you could change the four bottom buttons to be custom, you know, for example, YouTube or Spotify or you know, basically anything other than Sling and DirecTV, because I'm never gonna use those. I also think that at times the Wi-Fi on it isn't that great. Uh, if, I'm, it, if I'm streaming YouTube from it, it almost never lets me uh, go above 720 or 1080p, which is fine. I mean, I bought a 4K TV. I would like to enjoy 4K video sometimes, but it is what it is. And I'm, I don't think that's my internet because I can stream it through my computer just fine. So I think maybe the Wi-Fi signal on the TV is a little weak. One more thing, uh, I did have a little issue with the backlight. There was some weird banding that was going on at one point and I'm not really sure what caused it and I haven't been able to reproduce it since. So I was a little nervous for a minute uh, just because the TV is so inexpensive that I was gonna have to get another one or deal with customer service, but haven't had that issue since and I'm hoping it doesn't continue. Overall, I definitely recommend this TV, especially for the price, you know, for $300 for a 50 inch TV, which is the model that I have, you're not going to be upset. You're going to, you're going to be happy with your purchase. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you love this video, please subscribe and hit that bell button. Thanks guys.